I'm back after uh, Category 5 slammed into my beautiful home state of Florida, rolled through coast to coast, completely bypassing any meteorologist prediction, ran right up the gut of Florida, right down I-4, blew over my home as a Category 1 hurricane, which structurally we can withstand. Unfortunately, our ass power grid could not and i lost power for close to 56 hours but thankfully i got a lot of friends who have a little bit nicer power grid than your boy does and i was able to go over there and at least sleep and have a somewhat normal life i'm back home after an extensive amount of yard work and over 60 bamboo that were destroyed in the in the hurricane and eight 55-gallon bags of debris later. My house looks mostly normal. I have the battle wounds on my hands. You probably can't see with my shitty camera, but it's been a hell of a ride, kids. So I'm a little behind on the news. I apologize. I would have done this video a little bit late, uh, a little bit earlier, I should say. But you know, life sucks, then you die. Uh, I wanted to talk today about something that is actually dying, not me, although maybe I feel like it after today because I did a fuck ton of yard work, sorry, language, <laughs> talking about Google Stadia. Now, I played Google Stadia like when it first came out, and this was during the hype of cloud gaming. Xbox had their project uh, xCloud come out, Google Stadia was announced, Uplay was working on a streaming service. Everybody had this brilliant idea. Let's stream because, you know, Wi-Fi and 5G data is available everywhere. And gamers are going to be, you know, on the bus to work and they're going to want to play their favorite games. They're going to be able to sneak in a quick Destiny raid while they're at the parking lot of Starbucks. And everyone is going to love this streaming service and they're going to pay a ton of money and we're going to be very, very happy to have everybody use it. Unfortunately, nobody used it. <laughs> nobody. I'm looking at the official blog post from the Google blog, uh, a message about Stadia and our long-term streaming strategy. Their long-term streaming strategy is there is no long-term streaming stat strategy. Turns out people don't want this because nobody embraced it. The controller sucked. The graphics were okay. I mean, it's very compressed. It's never going to match what you have on your home machine. And the reality is most people are at home playing games. Now, I think the biggest reason why a lot of people are going to say, wait a minute, wait a minute, Stadia got a bad shake, was because of COVID. And like many of us, I definitely didn't go nowhere. So I didn't really need a streaming service. I had the real thing right upstairs, okay? So you could argue that maybe it was somewhat a victim of the timing, but Stadia was around before all that too. And the reality is it just never took off. There was no reason to play it. The exclusives that they had were very lame and very forgettable. A lot of the experiences that you would want to enjoy with the service were in addition to games that you already bought. And that's why a service like uh, Xbox Game Cloud or Cloud Streaming or whatever name they ultimately settled on. I remember it was called Project X Cloud for a long time. Um, that's why those services are better because you bought the game exactly one time, which is just how many times you have to buy things. You shouldn't have to buy it to play it on another streaming service if you already have it. And by the time Stadia came into the market, the experiences that they were providing for customers we're long overdue. No one's like, oh man, Assassin's Creed Origins. Can't wait to play that game. Yeah, you know, we played it like five years ago. I don't need to stream it now. So this service was clearly not for hardcore gamers. The service was clearly not for people who were dabbling in gaming. Who was it for? Well, nobody. It's why they canceled it. It was hemorrhaging money left and right. And I think this is just another one of those examples. And I see this a lot in gaming. And look, I'm a passionate gamer. So I've been playing games my whole life. I'm 40. I've been playing games since I was five. So I feel like I got some skin in the game, okay? 
I'll tell you what though, this is another example of gaming telling us what we want. Nobody wanted this. <laughs> Nobody want, nobody's like, man, I can't wait to play uh, a game on my phone, in, you know, uh, somewhere else. No, no one asked for that. And when it came, people are like, oh, oh okay, um, this is interesting. I guess I won't play my little favorite cell phone game or Facebook or Reddit or text my bros or all the normal things that I do. I'll instead play a game, except I got to pay for it. And it drains my phone battery pretty quick. And I got to get this really dopey controller adapter controller thing so I can play. And my data isn't very good after all. And uh, it sucks. <laughs> so good written Stadia. I don't miss you. I think you were a dumb idea. I think honestly, I mean, xCloud is included. But if they ever said, hey, you're going to have to pay more for it, I would not. Um, the idea of streaming and this on-demand stuff is great for movies. It's great for television shows. It is not great for gaming. It just doesn't work. And Amazon Luna is going to be gone soon enough. And the Uplay streaming service, whatever they ended up on that name, is going to be gone soon enough. Nobody cares about this. Nobody wants this. So goodbye. And if I could offer any advice to any other entrepreneur who is thinking of entering the gaming market, what, what could we do to make an impact and make waves in the gaming market? Make a game, do that, make a game. Don't worry about another platform. Don't worry about another console or a controller or some new experience or some new hub or some new way to feed into the existing, uh, you know, something new. Just feed into the existing infrastructure. We already got Xbox. We already got Switch. We already got PlayStation. If you wanna do something, make it on there. Make us a good PC game. All this time and money they spent is wasted on nothing. And I'm reading here in the blog post and it talks about that the underlining power has been proven and transcends gaming and we see opportunities to apply this to other parts of Google, like YouTube and Google Play and augmented reality and we'll make it available to our industry partners. Good luck, nobody cares. Um, there's, I would love to see what this leveraging is. They should just say, you know what? It was stupid, everybody said it was stupid and it failed. So for the four people out there that I pissed off, because you're still playing Stadia, well, sorry. Make sure you subscribe though, because I talk about things outside of Stadia and I'm actually never gonna mention Stadia again because it's dead, it's gone. And uh, in the future, I'd like to see more games, make more games, quit making me buy into new things. I'm tired of it, I'm just tired in general. Get off my lawn. <laughs>